What's cracking, guys? Omar Isaf here. What's in the van? I don't fucking know. But you know what I know today? You're gonna learn something. You're gonna learn something about the Delif. We have Joey Zatzmary, someone who is a strongman competitor, also competes in weightlifting, and also competes in powerlifting. He's what we call a thick boy, a strong boy, perhaps, mayhaps, a peach boy. In this video, he's going to go over what helped the most when it comes to his deadlift. He's in the 700 pound Delif club. That's a huge club. Honestly, if you Delif 700 pounds, I know in this day and age, we're used to the freaks of freaks. We see 800 pound Delifts, 900 pound Delifts. Damn, half Thor Delifting 1,000 pounds. 700 pounds is a huge, huge landmark of lifting. He's gonna impart some wisdom when it comes to the Delif, three tips that helped him out the most. If you enjoy these technique videos, these tip videos, make sure to like the damn video. Also, check out Joey's channel. He has a great channel. He's currently being coached by Alon Thrall, who is once again my boy, and we're uh, going down to California. So check out Joey's channel. Thank you. Shout out to Joey for doing this video. Let's get on now with those deadlift tips. I'll give uh, Brian Alzer a call. Hey, what's up, Joe? Yo, what's up, dude? Uh, so I've been kind of struggling with my deadlift, and you know, strong man, you gotta have a big deadlift. I was wondering if maybe you had some time in the future where you could just look it over, give me some pointers so we can get that bad boy increased? No, dude, I've got weight. Dude, I, 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 can't, I, I can't get out from, from my computer, man. Are you sure? Dude, I'm working right now. There's nothing, there's absolutely nothing I can do. I, I, dude, I, I'm too busy. All right, it uh, doesn't really sound like there's much going on over there, but uh, all right. <laughs> do you just growl? No, man. I think, uh, could just be your genetics, man. I. I don't know there's not much, I don't think you're gonna be able to do much. I, maybe you should just quit, but you know what? Can't help you, dude, sorry. Damn, all right, dude. Joey wants to know how to get his deadlift better. Should we get the magic wand? Should we get a magic wand? Next. I'm Tim Strength, this is Alan. Yo, Alan, what's up, dude? It's Joey Zatmary. We met at that barbell medicine seminar the one time. I feel like we really hit it off that day. Oh, hey, dude. How's it going? Yeah, so pretty much, dude, I'm having trouble with my deadlift, and I was wondering if maybe I could send over some video footage. You give me some quick feedback so we can increase that bad boy. It's uh, just it's a little bit low right now, and I got to get it up for Strongman. Ah, uh, nah. Sorry, dude, I can't. I'm uh, really busy. In fact, I'm with a client right now. Yeah, plus, ah. Uh, I just don't work with weightlifters. All right, so here's the deal. My deadlift's really low. I'm super insecure about it. I paid somebody like 400 bucks just so I get your phone number. No snitching, but it's definitely punch nugget. Don't hurt him. Uh, and, and All right, what's that? Yeah, I can't hear you, dude. You're breaking up. Really, I just, I just need some help, man. I really need some help. Uh-huh. All right, yeah. Ugh, that guy. What kind of name is Sazat Mary anyways? Oh, come on. What's it going to take? Do I have to like sacrifice myself to the gods or something? deadlift in all the realm. Gains God, do you hear my call from within my manly body? Take me and strip me of my manhood and give me the ultimate strength of a thousand beasts. Through your flame, you will give me the unnatural power. Ooh, that, that Take this blood sacrifice of my own flesh to give you yourself into me. Oh. Oh. Yes! 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 Flow through me! Flow through me! Yes! Yes!
All right, so enough of that weird devil stuff, and let's talk about what you really came to this video for. And that is the three tips that have really helped me increase my deadlift over the span of honestly several years. When I first got into strength sports, my deadlift was actually really low and I didn't care about that much. But now since I'm a competitive strongman athlete, a deadlift is a huge priority and something that you really need to have as a strongman athlete. So covering these next couple tips, just gonna be some general big tips that I think really have made the biggest difference in increasing my deadlift over time. All right guys, so tip number one on my list is gonna be frequency, and for me specifically, increasing my frequency. Probably like a lot of you guys, I was deadlifting one time per week, and that worked for a good amount of time, actually a while. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, boom, the plateau hit. Wasn't seeing much progress or many gains, so I finally had hired a coach and brought them on with me to kind of give me some tips and pointers. One of the first things that we did was increase my frequency from one time a week to maybe even two or three times per week. So that would be my suggestion for you guys. If you're looking to really get your deadlift specifically to increase, you should be at least doing it two to three times per week and its variations. All right, so tip number two is going to be cutting out accessory work that doesn't matter and replacing it with accessory work that actually will contribute to the deadlift. So when I first started, I was into bodybuilding and I would do all different back exercises to isolate different muscles in the back and try to be aesthetic as possible. Now the difference is when it comes to strength training and specifically increasing the deadlift, you wanna put time into the movements that are gonna give you the best bang for your buck. So when it comes to doing something like a wide grip lat pull down versus maybe something like a deficit deadlift, I'm gonna go with the deficit deadlift. And I like to really use those variations to help get me stronger in my weak spots. So if you're someone who's having trouble off the floor, deficit deadlifts may be the way to go. If you're someone who's having trouble at your lockout or shin or above the knee, you wanna be doing block pulls or rack pulls from that position. And like I said, if you're increasing the frequency, you can plug these in throughout your week of programming. The biggest change for me had just been switching up those movements and taking out what didn't matter, implementing what did matter, and what was gonna help me increase that deadlift. So doing things like tempo deadlifts or pause deadlifts or deficit deadlifts, block pulls, pen lay rows, barbell rows, and staying in the same kind of plane and movement pattern as the deadlift has really helped increase the deadlift over time. All right, so the third and final tip that's really helped me increase my deadlift is actually a technical tip, and that is initiating the leg drive properly for the deadlift. When I used to deadlift all the time, I primarily just put all the stress in my back and probably my hamstrings and not so much utilizing my legs as a whole when going for my pull. Now you may say a deadlift is primarily a back movement and I would 100% agree. However, just like the bench is probably gonna be more a chest, shoulders and back movement, the legs can also play a role in increasing your bench press. So I think the same applies to the deadlift. Now the biggest cue that helped me with leg drive, and you may have heard this from other lifters, is thinking that the floor is a leg press. So as you're taking the slack out of the bar, you wanna push the floor away from you, and this can help you activate the quads, the hamstrings, and the glutes, which ultimately, yes, you will be using your back throughout the entire lift, but you're gonna get that little extra boost from the legs and all the power that you can generate from your legs. I have found also that utilizing leg drive properly has transferred over to less fatigue in my lower back, which has let me train longer and harder uh, throughout all my training blocks. Now these tips are what have worked for me personally. Obviously everybody out there has a different case and scenario, but I'm interested to hear what you guys think. So if you can, comment in the video down below with what's going on with your deadlift, and I'd be more than happy to help you guys out and give you some feedback in the comment section down below. I just wanna say thank you so much, Omar, for having me on your channel. I really appreciate it. This is the second time on the channel, uh, but I'm looking forward to hopefully meeting with him in the future and getting some in-person collaborations. Uh, but nonetheless, thank you so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and uh, always be supporting my man Omar Esau. Thanks, brother.